Hello friends, this is fifth part of this follow unfollow system using PHP Ajax and jQuery, and in this part, we will see how user can share post, and how to load user share post. In previous part, we have seen how to see how can user can edit his or her profile details, how user can change his or her profile image. After profile, now we have moved to how user can share his or her post, for this we have go to index page, in which we have already included jQuery and bootstrap library link. On this page, first we want to form for share post, so here we have write form method is equal to post, and id is equal to post form. Under this form, we have write text area field, with name, and id is equal to post content, max length is equal to, 160, so user can type only 160 character only. After this, we have write input type is equal to hidden, name is equal to action and value is equal to insert, this field value, we will use at server side. For submit form data, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name and id is equal to share post and value is equal to share by click on this button user can share post for display publish post here we have create division tag with id is equal to post list under this tag we will display publish post now we have moved to write jQuery code, and here we have write dollar with form id post form, with on method, under this we have write submit, so when form has been submitted, then this code will execute. Under this, we have write event dot prevent default function, this function will stop to submit form data. Below this, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar with text area id post content with value method, not equal to blank. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write alert with message like, enter story content, this message will be pop up. But suppose, text area field has value, then it will execute else block, and here we have write form data variable is equal to, dollar this with serialize method, it will convert form data into URL encoded string. Now we have start write Ajax request, and under this first we have write URL option set to, action.php here we have send request to this page in second option we have write method and here we have write post here we have use post method for send data to server in third option we have write data and in this option we can define which data we want send to server so here we have write form data variable. Lastly, we have write success callback function. This function has been called if Ajax request completed successfully. Under this function, we have write alert, with message like post has been shared, this method will be pop up on web page. After post share, we want to clear form fields, so here we have write dollar with form id post form with zero index dot reset method, it will clear all form fields. 
Now we have moved to write PHP code, so we have open action.php file, and here we have write include statement with database connection.php, it will make database connection on this page. After this we have write, session start function, it will start session on this page. Now we have write, if statement, and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post action variable, if this variable value set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar output variable is equal to blank value. Below this, we have again write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to insert, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array, with key double colon user ID with value get from dollar session user ID variable, second key double colon post content. With value get from dollar post, post content variable, in third key post date time value get from php function date function, so here we have store form data under this dollar data variable. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into samples post table with table colon user ID, post content and post date time with values double colon user ID, post content and post date time. Below this insert query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable. For execute query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, and under this method, we have write dollar data variable. This method will execute query and insert dollar data variable data under table. After insert of post, now we want to display inserted post, so we have go to index page and here we have make fetch post function. This function will fetch post from database and display on web page. Under this function, first we have write action variable is equal to fetch post, this variable value we will use at server side code. Now we have start write ajax request, so first we have write url option set to action.php, here we have send request to this page. In second option, we have write method which set to post, here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, and here we have define action variable value has sent to server. Lastly we have write, success callback function, this function has been called, if request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function, we have write dollar with division tag id post id, with html method, under this method we have write data, it will display post under this division tag. Now we have go to action.php, and here we have write, if statement, and under condition we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to fetch post, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to, select star from samples post, 
left join Twitter user table on, Twitter user dot user ID is equal to samples post dot user ID, order by post ID in descending order. Here we have left join samples post table, and Twitter user table based on user ID table column value. Now we have write, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement, with dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, it will execute query. After query execution, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. This method will return query execution result. Below this, we have write dollar total row variable is equal to dollar statement with row count method. This method will return number of rows affected after query execution. Now we have write, if statement and under condition, we have write dollar total row variable value greater than zero, if this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write for each loop, and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, first we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar row profile image variable value, is not equal to blank. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this we have write dollar profile image variable is equal to, image tag with source is equal to images folder slash dollar row profile image variable. But suppose, above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar profile image variable is equal to image tag with source is equal to images folder slash user dot jpg. So here we have define if user has upload his or her image, then it will display profile image. Otherwise it will display default user image. Now we have write dollar output variable, and in this variable we have append HTML code, and in this first we want to display profile image, so here we have write dollar profile image variable. After this we want to display username, so here we have write dollar row username variable. And lastly, we want to display post content, so here we have write dollar row post content variable, it will display post details. So, here we have store post details, under this dollar output variable, in HTML format, for send this details to Ajax, here we have write echo statement with dollar output variable. Now we have go to index page, and here we have called fetch post function, and fetch user function, so when page has been load into browser, then this code will execute. After this we have called this fetch post function, in form submit success function, so after form submission, it will display latest post on web page, now we have check output in browser. 
Friends first we have refresh web page, after refresh of web page, we can see post share form, and below we can see not post found message, this is because we have not share any post. Now we have directly click on share button, so we have received pop up message like content is required. So, we have enter short content, and click on share button. After click on share button, form data has been clear, and below we can see share post, with user name, user profile image. So, this way we can share post, and display on web page. In next part, we will discuss, how to display all user with follow button, and unfollow button with number of followers, by using Ajax jQuery with PHP, under this follow unfollow system. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.